Hey guys, Thomas from Team Sakurasa here coming at you with another Market Watch for May. Uh, first thing I want to say is thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. We hit it about a day ago and there will be a 500 sub celebration. Now what this will be is up to you guys in the comment section below. I know a few of you have given me some great ideas over on Twitter. Uh, a few people in the comment section. But I still want to hear this video. What do you guys want to see for 500 subscribers? Let me know. Also, if you guys can leave a like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. If this video hits like 25 likes, I'll do another market watch in 24 hours or less. And if you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, please consider using the TCG affiliate link in the description below. If you're buying cards off TCG Player, then uh, by using my link, you could support the channel to no additional cost to you. Gives me a little bit back. And with that being said, guys, welcome to the new market watch. Uh, we have Mardell, Generator Boss of Light. Now, this card's been bought out before, and it's not even bought out. It's kind of stabilizing at $32. I told people to get these when they were about $10. Um, I think I've had it in two five-cards having your trade binder, actually. Uh, this card, first of all, not only does it make generators bread and butter, but you it's not only the searcher for generators, but you can add a plant monster from your deck to your hand when it's summoned. Uh, that's pretty crazy, and it's a level 8, so any plant deck, like, say, Sylvans or whatever, can abuse this and get a search off. Like, this card's really, really good. Um, I didn't even read, I didn't even know it had this text until I read it for the first time. I was like, yep, this card is getting bought out, and I'm very glad Team Sakurasa has their copies. Um, yeah, I don't see this card really going down, but Mystic Fighters is just, it's becoming, I hate to say it, but even more of a money set. For not even reasons I would really call good. So we have boxes here for 90, uh, 90 and then 100. Dragon Maids are still 63. Like, ugh. They're actually stabilizing. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. It, it's not a good deck. I'm, if you love playing the deck, that's great. I love my waifus. But the deck is not worth this price point. Uh, Mardell's here. Then you have this card. I don't know if people remember what this card even is. But it, it literally searches you, I believe, a spelling trap. And then we have boss stages, which I actually have right over here at $13. Now, these were $3 for a while. And they've always been about $9, $10 recently. But now they're about $13. And they're going up. One generator card already got bought out. So what do you, what do you guys think is going to happen with this card? All I'm saying is if you want to play Generators, especially post Attorney Code where they get some amazing support, then I would pick up your Generators right now. Um, at least the boss stages, or boss stages, definitely, because I could see this hitting $20, definitely. So, make sure that you're prepared. Uh, Mystic Fire, like, <sighs> $7 for a super, 6 $5 for another super, 3 bucks for another super, Two and a half to... Oh, this guy's going up. The penny stock's right here, by the way. Keep an eye on this card. Uh, Balanced Lord, which is text in certain decks. Uh, Super Clammy is about a dollar. You know, the set's not too terrible. Um, if you find any packs on clearance, might might honestly be, like, from Walmart, where you actually get godly pulls. Trust me, you guys are going to see an opening that proves exactly that. Then, uh, probably in the next week or two, then you guys will... Definitely see what I'm talking about, but yeah. Mystic Fire is pretty crazy. IP Mascarina. Uh, like play here at 48. Near Mets are going to run you about $51. Uh, remember, you can literally go into Avermax with this, and it's really hard to get off the field. Like, I think you you basically just have to kaiju it, really. Uh, there's not too many outs to it. And this car is just, for link climbing, it's always going to be considered. Always. And you can link on your opponent's turn, like, link it to Phoenix Bounce. Like, this gives decks that have issues having interrupts on your opponent's turn free interrupts by ut utilizing their extra deck and monster spam. So, even non-competitive decks, you can uh, put an, uh, an IP and maybe a unicorn. And you can put any other card by a unicorn, right, to link off during your opponent's turn and make a, some type of interrupt, right? Or, you know, make Avermax. Uh, this card's probably gonna get reprinted, honestly, but, you know, $50, I, I think I under, I think that's gonna hold like this for a long time until we get a reprint, so, yeah. Gallant Greta, you guys know that these are about $6 and going up. 
Uh, Add Mattress play this because not only does it search whatever you need, but just in case you happen to search everything you need, boom, you just search Nibiru. Um, and Adam Andrews are becoming more of a competitive deck. This is slowly rising. I told people to get this card when it was about a dollar, dollar twenty, mind you, because I told people, hey, the new rock type from Secret Slayers, it's going to use this deck. You could buy low, sell high. And even if you sold this card at four ish dollars, you still won. Um, I think the ceiling might be more, actually. I thought it might have capped at five dollars, could cap at about seven, eight, nine. Um, if you're playing Adam Andrews, uh, Adam Adzipators, my fault, guys. Lips are a little dry. Um, I would say pick this up if you need it, but if you have your spare copies, um, I would consider getting reprint. If this doesn't get a reprint, though, ooh, I could see a, a price, um, I could see its price being a lot more, but I think it's probably gonna get reprinted, because the tins usually like to... Go really crazy with their reprints. But if it doesn't, then this card's going to go definitely up. A Harpy Girl. Um, I was really gonna, originally going to cover this as a meme. But, you know, it's Dark Revelation. <sighs> like, <sighs> dollar for Near Mint. And then it goes to... But how many quantities are there? 6, 7, 9, 10, 14, 18, 20. There's 20 copies here. And one of them's mob play, so you know, dollar ten. Like, I, I really hate DRV because of its buyouts. Do you, do you guys do you guys see me right now, like in the face cam? I just DRV sucks. <laughs> like, I do actually love this card because when I was a kid, as bad as I thought, I thought she was hot. I still think she's hot. I mean, Harpy uh, girl cards have some of the best artwork. I actually can't wait till she gets a lost art. Tbh. Uh, dual overload. Been some movement here. So, Imperms, coming here at about 27, 28. I told you guys they're going to hit 30. They hit 30. They calmed down a bit. Now they're going back up. And they're probably going to go to 40. When we get to play Yu Gi Oh! again, ooh, this is going to go up. That's why I'm actually not getting rid of mine from the case opening. Um, I just think I could sell them for way higher later. Uh, Needle Fibers. So, 26 to $27 basically here. And going up, I mean, people are really anticipating that. They're going to play in Yu-Gi-Oh! tournaments very soon. And I don't think that's the case, but we are definitely getting closer to it. So, and then we have good old Robbie here. I actually love M. Cole 40 by the way. If you guys don't know, he's one of my favorite Yu-Gi tubers of all time. Uh, he makes the best content. I absolutely love him. And I, but yeah, I'm not endorsed by him or anything, by the way, if that's what you're thinking. But I absolutely love him. So every time his store pops up, I just get really happy. Uh, but side note aside, $27.00. For your Neo Fiber. If you were holding off on your Neo Fibers, just get it right now and before it spikes up. And Akondas 23. Let me tell you, this got hyped when Dragoon of Red Eyes um, was announced for a TCG in our tins. When it drops, this card's gonna go even higher. So if you think that you can't get in on this card, you still can. Union Carrier, about the same. Thanos Dragon still holding about 13. Uh, sign up mining's about ten dollars go and stabilizing. Honestly, this is gonna be a three of as well. Remember, you only really need say one anaconda, one needle fiber. But if you're running sign up mining in any deck, you're gonna be running three of it. So this guy, for example, this guy has two copies right here. So someone who needs a place that's gonna have to buy his two and has to buy one of the other guys, for example. Et cetera, et cetera. You guys get the point. So Pick up your sign at Mining's if you need them, but, or if you have any interest in Cybers in the future. I told you guys to pick up the original Secrets, but if you want to just get the card for the card, I guess. This is not a bad version. Alternate Art Loving Years, $5. Keep an eye on it. Cyber Emergency is about $4. Doesn't know if it wants to be a $4 or $5 card just yet, but if Cyber Dragons get any type of notoriety when it comes to tops and regionals or YCSs, I could see this being an $8 card. Uh, if you have any, um, Interest in Cyber Dragons, like I actually do. I actually love Cyber Dragons. Free OTK for days. Might like this deck. Relinquished Anima, $4. Uh, I was actually talking, actually, a little bit on the channel to a person who was talking to me about this being a collector card or not. And I want to explain a little bit about this. So, the thing about Relinquished Anima, and if this is in brain, somehow correct me, but I don't think it is. Um, 
This is not an anime card. This is not an anime relinquish. Yes, it says relinquish, has relinquish-esque artwork, but the collectors don't really know that yet. They haven't really caught on to this card. Maybe they will one day, and if they do, sometimes when we get certain cards for, uh, for the TCG that are kind of older relics like Blue Eyes support or like Relinquish Anima, some collectors are actually not interested in those certain cards, um, I believe. So I could very much be wrong, though. Uh, we could be looking about this in two years being a, you know, a higher card, and I could be like, well, I was wrong, because, you know, I am wrong with this. But honestly, I, I don't think this is going to be a big collector card. I could be wrong, but I'm not really too sure just yet. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Uh, Celine, $4. This card's actually insane. I actually have to go up against some dueling books, so... Uh, Aerodon stabilizing at $3. Um, 50 listings. Might want to keep an eye on the listings. Um... This, this card's already being abused and shit. People already found ways, like I thought, generate three tokens. Like, honestly, whenever I hear tokens in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I just get scared by this point. Uh, I mean, I swear, if they ever release Medolce support and I see token, I'm gonna be like, Medolce's getting hit for no reason soon. Like, <laughs> um, Keyblades 3, you link climb, you shuffle a card back. Like, uh, then there's, um... What's it called? Din Din over here. Three bucks for a reprint. Bujin Guy, three. Two dollars. Dark Lord, dollar fifty. And then, you know, it kind of trickles down from there. Yujo Friendship. You know these uh, cards that were like maybe a couple bucks? Uh, gonna run you about 21 right now. Uh, this card's straight bought out. Someone want me to look at jump cards, and I plan on doing that one day, but there's just a lot of jump cards. And I want to look at a few, and I saw this card bought out, and I was like, wow! Cool! I mean, I'm not surprised. It's an old jump card, and it, this is just for collector purposes. You know what I mean? I love collecting jump. Honestly, it's to the point where I'm actually surprised it's only 21. Uh, I don't see this card, uh, unless it gets filled up back. I, don't, I see this card holding a very high price point in the future, for sure. So if you're looking to finish your jump collection, definitely look into getting this. Also, before I continue the video, I actually upload my Immortal Destiny box opening. It'll be pinned in the description, or not the description, but in the comment section below. Because a lot of people want to see that box opening. And didn't get as many views so far, but, you know, people have busy days. Uh, you know, it's the weekday and all that. So if you guys do want to see that box opening, I did upload it, so it is there. Uh, Speed Duel, Tournament Pack 1. Uh, Blue Eyes is 180. They've been 180 for a while, actually. Um, this is nothing new. Um, these used to be around $50. And they're going up. Not only are Blue Eyes actually used in Speed Duels, actually, as a competitive card. But, again, Blue Eyes is a collector card. And it's from a Tournament Pack that... The Tournament Pack 1s are going to disappear and eventually be a very valuable pack. To a point where... Even if you don't play Speed Duels, you might want to just go to your locals, enter, and just to get the pack. Even if you just save it sealed. It might be worth it in the future. I mean, obviously, you can't go now. Dark Magicians, 110. They've always been some money. Red Eyes, these have gone up. These were not as much. Relinquishes were $25. This is absolutely ridiculous. Harpy Lady Sisters were 25 This is, uh, okay, so actually, there's a light play here for 18 then a near mint for 25. Then it goes to 37, 38. Is this light play really a bad pickup? No, it's not. Again, if you guys want to support the channel, please use the TCG affiliate in the description below. Uh, helps out the channel to no additional cost to you. Uh, Dark Magician Girl. Now, let me let me let me explain. This is the next card to hit hundred dollars. You can get this for six dollars right now. I want to see if any of the sellers are seeing this coming. Few are. Just, just, just keep an eye on it. And by keep an eye, I mean just buy it. I, I don't, usually people are like, well, you know, I don't like market watches because they initiate buyouts. Like, listen, dude, they're gonna happen regardless. I'm not initiating shit. I'm just telling you that, hey, I because you watch my video, and because you're a subscriber or because you like my content or whatever, I want to let you know what's gonna go up. 
and how you can get the jump on things because you're watching the video, liking the video, commenting possibly, and supporting me. So I want to help you because you help me. And again, I love my subscribers. So, and I've seen your guys' success stories in the comments. I love hearing them about like Shark Drake, how they, you guys got in on that and all this stuff. It really does make me happy if you guys are making money in this game, getting on buyouts before. It, it really does make me happy. So, you know, and anyway, getting it back into it, Two Tables Contents, I actually have one of these. It looks very nice. It, it, they, they, they do look very nice. For And then you have, like, dollar pickups. Honestly, this is just an option. There's 18 listings here. You guys don't... If you're ever buying from a seller, maybe see if they have anything from Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1 that you can add. Maybe one of them has, like, say, this dollar $1.14. Uh, I don't know this seller, by the way, at all, but it's a cool name. Uh, dollar fourteen, and you need to just add that to your order to make me make two dollars. Grab it, put it in a binder, forget about it. This, this, this is literally a money maker set. Solemn Judgment Ultimate Rare. Now I've told you guys to pick this up at sixty, and look, it's eighty-five dollars. It is going to hit the same price as Solemn Strike at one hundred forty dollars, if not more, because Judgment's a better card. Because while Strike can hit, uh. Uh, is less life, uh, negates and destroys monsters, uh, and it can negate stuff like hand traps along with uh, summons activating the hand, like say Phantasme or Madolce Pudding Sessor, uh, and certain inherit summons like that. Solemn Judgment can negate, you know, just any, you know, just summons, spells, and traps. So while Strike is better in certain situations for sure, Judgment is overall a card that's going to hit more bases because it can hit spells and traps along with certain summons. And it's always going to be a staple in the game. It's always going to be looked at. And this is its highest rarity. Uh, $85 is still cheap for it. I am still going to stand by $85. If you get this card for $85, you're still getting a deal. Because it will go up. So please get your copies. Um, if you ever, if you, And even if it's a bit of money, I know that. If you plan on getting this card, get it sooner rather than later. This is the high rarity card that I would personally invest in. Alright, I, I scroll down here to look a little bit, but I already see something. I mean, it's got... I, I got my copies for 7, because I actually love the ghost. A lot of people don't, because it's from Haunted Mind, but... 35 light play, not a bad pickup. Then 55. We are on buyout status. Honestly, again, people love their ghost rares, and so many ghost rares. I actually have ghost rares, uh, two ghost rares I'm, we're going to look at together uh, a little later. And then Lost Arts, which are still good pickups, $8. Quasar Dragon. Now, this was bought out multiple times. Used to be a $100 card. We have Light Plays here for $16. Uh, a lot of people were loving this deck and anticipating it with Needle Fiber because people lo will always love Quasar decks. Um... It's still, Quasar decks are still possible, definitely. And they're still good because Crystal and Neal Fiber. But Near Mints are going to run you about $18. Honestly, we've seen this card jump up. If you were upset because of the second time it went up, well, do I make the mistake a third time? I mean, there goes a saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, well, do I be fooled three times? I, don't, I know I want. So here's what I'm going to say. If you ever want this card jump version, you've seen it get bought out the first two times, or at least one of time in its life. Get your copies now. Honestly, this is as cheap I think it's ever going to get. Star's Dragon. Now, a lot of Ghost Rares have been going out, but this includes the Signer Dragons. Light plays were always like 80, 90. You can get a heavy play here, then a mod for 100, and then a light plays just jump to 200. Uh, and then even higher, actually. Um, I actually, I don't usually show cards on the market watch that often, but I'm going to get this card out for you guys, actually. Oh, uh, let's just see where it is here. I know I can already t see the comment I'm about to get. He's gloating, guys. He's gloating. This is actually my Ghost Rare Stardust right here. Um, absolutely beautiful card. It's a little hard to see. I know, guys, with the light. But I got, I actually, believe it or not, I actually paid for mine. I think I got, 
the guy wanted 80, uh, 80 for it. It was like $80 at the time, and I think I offered about 70 and he took it because I wanted it. It was a ghost rare. It's very hard to lo uh, what's called lowball or ask people over their prices on ghost rares, so normally I don't even do it. In fact, I'm glad to, just to pick them up in the first place. I don't know about you guys, but that's at least how I am. Very beautiful card. Now, why am I showing this, you might ask, for Unlimiteds? Well, all Ghost Rares are going up. You know what hasn't gone up yet? Shooting Star Dragon. Basically, the second best thing to Stardust. First set, Near Mints. 135. Um, they were about 110, so this is slowly rising. Oh, they have Italian. kind of want this. Wow, that... This, I don't see scratches either. Alright, all I'm saying... Uh, the name's a little hard to see, actually. I don't know if that's just about the card or what. But, maybe it's a little misprint, but they don't want to value it more? Not bad. M honestly, living up to the name, possibly. Again, not sponsored by them. Uh, this card's the next card to go up. If you want to still get in on Ghost Rares... This is the next card to go up. It is a gorgeous card. It's actually one of my... Probably one of my favorite Ghost Rares. It's really up there. Along with Stardust. Not just not just because it's connected to Stardust. But man, it just looks cool. Like, at the end of the day, every collector is a bit of a kid inside. And they, they just want cool cards. I know I have a few collectors watching my Market Watch. That can join me in on that statement. Okay, we have nothing on that tab. Awesome. Uh, Mech Knights really quickly. Uh, Gearsu, the they, they made an Orcus and a Mech Knight because Orcus and Mech Knights needed that. Uh, Pre-order is about 88. Honestly, you're, we're not going to be able to play for a long time anyway. And we know this card's going to go down, so I won't pick it up. Uh, Aver Max is going up. Oh, you can get first set here for 36. But this card, remember when it was used to be like $15, $20? It's slowly rising up. It's not getting bought out. It's just slowly rising up. So, I think this is going to be... This is honestly such an amazing Link monster. Especially in the future. Uh, Purple Knight fa Falls from the Mega Packs. About $16. Uh, they used to be nowhere near as much. They used to be like 5 a pop. Man, that was great. Mech Knights are very strong, by the way. I mean, especially Blue Nightfall being able to get maybe 2, two to 3 searches, possibly. Depending on your board and your opponents combined. Uh, Mech Knight's very strong. Uh, Extreme Force ones here, actually, at, uh... Hmm. One light play here. Light play. What's a near mint at? $20, and then going up. So, again, people want their Mech Knights. Uh, it's a very, very good engine, especially because Invoked Mech Knight is actually a very strong OTK deck. Uh, even Cybernetic Horizon... Um, Morning Stars are going up. Uh, I don't know why the blue guy is worth more. I, I don't know if this guy's pulled less. Someone let me know in the comment section below if you know. But even this guy's going up. How much is the first set of this guy? Yeah, about eight bucks. But actually, kind of going back up. This might about eight and a half. Okay. Uh, so eight and a half, nine. Uh, even that guy's going up. And then you even have you still have Eclipse at a dollar. Yellows at a dollar. Wow, yellows are at a, a whole dollar now. Huh. Red's 35 cents. You know, the, the whole engine's very cheap. And honestly, Mech Knights are very good. If you want to get in on Mech Knights, honestly, they're never... I don't think they're ever going to be a bad deck. I think Konami's going to have to hit them for them to not see play. Or players are just going to naturally forget about them. So, yeah. Um, Attorney Code. I want to go over a little bit of this really quickly. Uh, I mean, failures. Let's be honest. When this was announced, we expected this right off the bat. The only thing about Valor is it's going to be more of a collector card. Because if you ever decide to run Starlight Rare Effect Valor, which I would rather run ultis, to be honest with you. Why would I? I can't. I wouldn't run just one. You know what I mean? I, I, you stunt on your opponent one-third of the time you draw it. Like, cool. And then still proceed to not draw your engine pieces. Like, area 388. Actually, this is actually one of my favorite charmers because of just appearance alone. I, um, I won't touch this. 
This this used to be like 260, and it's going up. I I don't know why. Like it's such a beautiful card, but I've talked to a lot of people. They'd rather see a, any other card. Like, does it look great? Yes. What does it look better than some of the other choices? Yes. But overall, as a card, is it better? Absolutely not. This was the worst choice to me. Trap Tricks Alamoris, the one I actually like. Uh, 210, um, I think this is going to be the cheaper one, the cheapest of the set. I would actually like to have one of these, but maybe one day. Maybe with the TCG affiliate, I'll save up. Think that You guys think that's a good idea? I, I, I could just see someone shaking their head. Like, Trap Tricks Alamoris? Man, Market Watch Demigod, more like the Market Watch dumbass. Like, <laughs> uh, Access Code Talkers at 64. Also, I'm getting my box soon from Europe, so hopefully I'll be uh, able to open that up for you guys. Uh, $64. Uh, 61 on the Dinosaur. A lot of people were very upset about this being a lot of money. Honestly, it's so good. It's such a good card in Dinosaurs. <sighs> I don't have enough patience to go over to this much of Dragon Maids in a day. <laughs> uh, Ghost Girl, I, I don't like this card as a hand trap. I've explained it multiple times. I'd rather get Imperm, and so should you. Link Cross at $36, $37. I told you guys, this is the only pre-order card that you should get. Look what happened. People are finally figuring out how broken it is. We've had, we've known about this card, and people have been able to play test with this card for a very long time. As someone who is very behind when it comes to why Yu Gi Oh, how Yu Gi Oh cards are used in certain decks, like even Link Cross, right? For example, and what future support does, even I saw this coming. And I am the one who's going to be late to the party with this. If you pre order yours at 20, you won. That's all I'm going to say. I won. Uh, 25. Uh, Gravekeeper's Trap Hole. These went up a little bit. Deep Sea Area. This is actually just a Sea Serpent sh Searcher, honestly. So, keep an eye on this because any, uh, I think this is going to go a little bit down. And that's the best time to snag it up. Definitely, maybe not right now, but this searches Sea Serpents. Like, th Sea Serpents have their rota in 2020, finally, basically. Unless they had another one, let me know, but they shouldn't. Uh, Plunder Patrol Ship. Next $3 secret. Uh, Gizmek Uka. These were like very, very cheap. These were like $10 or $20 pre-orders. I don't know what happened. I don't want to know what happened. Titan Coder, Coder. Is this the one I'm thinking of? Oh, yeah. Uh, not a bad card, honestly. Lost Wind, but it's like a different Lost Wind. Uh, not a bad card. Honestly, I kind of like it. Uh, but $20, uh, and then we have, like, the Ultras that aren't really going to hold at all. Like, that's definitely not going to hold. Uh, that's not going to hold. I mean, I think maybe it'll stabilize around 5, to be honest with you, but... Uh, and then you have just the other Ultras here, you know, Fusion Deployment, all that. Uh, Duels Pack, Dimension Guardians. Uh, also, if you made it this far in the video, please leave a like. Subscribe and let me know what you thought of this market watch along with whatever cards you want to see in the market watch for the next video There'll be a uh, just leave them in the comment section below. I tend to get to as many people as possible uh, Box of this were very cheap and galaxy eyes cypher from here $17 uh, this is using blue eyes. They were like 20 uh, Something a couple days ago. I mean just get rid of this while you can Fred for reborns eight to nine dollars <laughs> Uh, Daredevils, seven and a half. These guys went up, actually. And this is because it, you know, yeah, it has the main phase one that where you control all their cards in the field. Uh, that's great. You know, that's not a bad effect. But during either player's battle phase, when a spell trap is activated, you can negate the activation if you destroy it. Uh, and if you do that, this card gains 500 attack. So, I mean, it's a cute boost, right? Which is nice. I mean, but it negates evenly. And depending on your opponent, maybe if they eat uh, imperm during battle phase, for example, if you set up a board and this card, and one of, like let's say Savage, right, is your only way to negate a spell or trap besides this card in battle phase, and your opponent has imperm and evenly, right, 
they usually would imperm, say, the Savage or your Trigate Wizard, uh, and then they can evenly, right? And then you're like, well, fuck. Uh, with this card, you're all good with it. You can just negate the Spell Trap unless they imperm this, and then you don't really have anything else, and then they evenly, then like, oh, well, but they still have to draw two cards. It's a good card. I don't know what exactly it's used in right now, though. But I, I think I can imagine a few things. I just don't want to be wrong and say something. These have been going up a little bit. These were like a dollar. Hand on to three dollar mark. Super Ben 10s aren't too bad. But I know as a secret that's worth way more. And then Evil Swarms. Uh, also, I would not. I would still not get into this set. I just want to look at one more thing. Resonator cards, though. When the 5D support drops, if this card that literally searches any Resonator doesn't go up or doesn't get reprinted, boom. Expect it to be an $8 card. All I'm saying. Um, Evil Swarms. I want to look over this a little bit. Uh, $13 on Ouroboros. Very old um, DT. I feel like I have one in the deck box lying around somewhere. <laughs> um, Exiton, Secrets. Uh, 8 bucks for a first set light. Probably 10 on a near mint. <laughs> um, yeah, about 11 on a near mint. Remember... This card, once per chain, base it can activate during your main phase or on your opponent's battle phase. Your opponent has more total cards in their hand side of the field. Uh, detach, uh, destroy all other cards on the field. I, uh, it's this is literally one of the best rank fours ever printed. It was banned for a reason, and it was absolutely nuts back in the day, and it's still nuts to this day. Uh, Ophions though, six listings. Um, lightly played here for 7, 7, goes up quickly at 12, and then your f only near mint on the market is $30. I would look at this card, guys. Honestly, might be a good pickup, because DT cards are very hard to replace. Players love holding on to their DT cards, especially old ones like Ophion here. Six listings, though. And then we have Nightmare. Certain Pendulum decks actually make this, by the way, if you guys are wondering why this is money, because it's two level four Dark Monsters, and when you're playing Special Ops a monster, except for during the damage strap, detach one, book a moon it. This is literally book a moon, and you get two of it during the same turn. Very underrated rank four. Uh, but it does take two level four Darks. We have uh, Mega Pack ones for about six, four, DTs. Six listings for this, too? Uh, if you want Evil Swarms, which I think is a great deck, might be worth looking at this. Very limited DTs, and you can get the D, uh, DT. The C original secret's about a dollar, probably. Then you have the rest of the DT Evil Swarms here. Not many listings here. We could be seeing a, uh Evil Swarm buyout it's probably soon if the, you'd already consider six listings bought out. Keep an eye on this stuff, guys. So, anyway, with that being said, guys, leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.